My name's Kaylee. I'm 17 years old and I've been a primary hypertension patient at Great Ormond Street Hospital for 16 years and I'm now in the process of transitioning to adult services at the Royal Brompton. I've helped the PHA UK to create this video so that people know what to expect at their children's appointment and how to make the most of their appointments at Great Ormond Street Hospital and to also know that you're not the only one. My name is Shahen Moladina. I'm a paediatric cardiologist. I'm based at Great Ormond Street Hospital and I specialise in pulmonary hypertension. So my name's Becky. I'm a um, clinical nurse specialist and lead nurse for pulmonary hypertension based at Great Ormond Street Hospital. Um, however, we run the service for the whole of the UK. Most of our patients are at home and we follow them up as outpatients. So there's a lot of background work, coordinating care, we spend the majority of our time trying to keep our patients at home in the community, so liaising with local teams, um, providing information to families, uh, teaching and training to schools. And less looking after patients on the ward. Pulmonary hypertension is essentially the same disease in both children and adults, however, Children seem to get pulmonary hypertension for different reasons to adults, um, so there will be some crossover. The differences are that the patients get it for different reasons. However, it is essentially the same disease with the tight blood vessels in the lungs. And children can get it at any age. Uh, most of our patients are in younger childhood. From all ages, from small babies up to 15, 16 year olds. I think most of what people learn about primary hypertension before they are under a specialised service. Well, a lot of what they learn about primary hypertension is from the internet. Dr Google isn't always your friend and it is um, sometimes you really feel for people because they come in and they've read stuff on Google and it really isn't the right information. A lot of what you find on the internet relates to a very specific type of adult primary hypertension called idiopathic uh, primary hypertension. Now, some of that will be relevant to uh, children, but most of it is not. I would just encourage families um, who need information to contact either us and we can either direct them in to the right websites. Primary hypertension comes in different flavours and uh, the first thing we do when uh, we meet a new patient, or well, one of the first things we do, is try and work out what type of pulmonary hypertension they have. So we receive a referral for a new patient. When someone is referred, the process starts before you actually come to Great Ormond Street. And what we, what we try and do is one of our nurses will contact the family and try and explain what to expect. They will be coming to Great Ormond Street over two to three days where they'll have a series of tests and investigations so we can get to know the family, get some history and try and work out the type of pulmonary hypertension they have and to put together a treatment plan. We found that most families prefer, even though they're long days and tiring, to get it all done and dusted in one go rather than coming back and forth for repeated they also get an opportunity to have a one-to-one -one with the nurse who can smooth over any uh, questions that they haven't asked during the consultation. The other main thing to expect is to meet a consultant who will summarise everything that we've found so far and explain from scratch about pulmonary hypertension and what the plan is for the next uh, few weeks and months. We like to get to know the patients, their families and their pulmonary hypertension, so we tend to see them a bit more frequently. Once everything's well controlled with medication and things are settled down, those appointments get spaced out. And we will do those outpatient clinic appointments as close to home as possible, so we'll come out to regional centres. It's a very overwhelming diagnosis, um, you know, particularly if you've had an ordinarily well child or if you've had lots of other 
ongoing problems to then have another new diagnosis on top of that. We will be looking after them even between the appointments, so people can approach us between the appointments, email, phone. They don't have to wait for an appointment if there's something pressing and concerning them. So every new referral will automatically be introduced to psychology as well as a family support worker who might be able to help with benefits or any other help that they may need. We can talk about positive things as well. It's, uh, from our point of view, we want to see how well the child's getting on, uh, how well they're responding to treatment. It's incredibly difficult, I think, one of the biggest challenges for, for parents. And we would just like, like them to know that we're there to support them through this. Now, whether that means us talking to their child or whether it's us giving them some pointers. It's always helpful to be honest with a child, but that's not the same as telling them everything. They certainly need to be honest around direct questioning from children, but we can help them and support them with answering that. It's incredibly difficult for parents, I'm sure, and I think they feel that they have to be the strong, strong individual for, the, for their children. My top piece of advice is don't despair. There's a lot that can be done and things are getting better. And I think it's really important for them to link in with other families, which they can do through the PHA, through social media, and we would encourage that. We don't expect parents to remember everything that was said the first time. We're more than happy to go over things again. Things change, children change, uh, medicines change. So it's just about having an open, free dialogue but I think it's important for them to know that we are there for them. We are their specialist team. We only look after children with pulmonary hypertension. It's a relatively hidden disease, and I think a lot of children with pulmonary hypertension actually look very well. I think if the general population just appreciated that not everybody wears their illness on their sleeve. I would absolutely advise um, all new patients to join the PHA. At the beginning, it's very isolating. You're unlikely to know anyone else who's got this disease and you feel like it's all on your shoulders and suddenly there's a community of people out there dealing with the same kinds of issues as you're dealing with. And I often meet them armed with a registration form. The PHA is a great resource for information, for developments in the field. We can help with managing the disease but managing the living with it on a day-to-day -day basis is much better done by linking in with other families and um, children that have are living with the disease. When people come together and put their voice together they're much more easily heard. I hope you found this video useful for someone who's been at Great Ormond Street Hospital for 16 years I can assure you that you're in good hands. <laughs>